as you're quite accomplished time trialer already, what kind of tips would you give to anyone who wants to improve their time trialing? Like what kind of training do you do to get better? I think actually, uh, yeah, you can do a lot on your bike, obviously. Uh, buy a new, uh, buy good tires and and just think like, does this look like in the, in the nineties or does this look like now? Because you see different pictures from uh, when when Miguel Indurain was riding, he's he's looking really funny, and uh, and right now they're looking quite different. But if that's one thing. But uh, I find it really good to do a twenty minute test once every second week just to try to reach your limit and try to try to break that just to even in december just to you know feel like you're doing a tt all year round because otherwise you will get a little bit rusty in the start you see that with a lot of riders they are not able to perform in a one day tt but doing the tour de france they uh, literally rips everyone up i think that's just to train like you're doing a TT, do a proper warm up and then do a 20 minutes all out. And each time you will see that you're getting better and better to to pace yourself. I think that would be my best advice to, to become successful. Because if you can, if you on one year can do like, I don't know, 20, 20, 20 minutes test, then you, when you reach the, the national, so, a big goal for you, uh, um, then you have tried every kind of, what do you call it? Um, yeah, you have tried to do a test during uh, one of your worst days and, and also one of your best days. So if you start out doing uh, maybe uh, 20 watts uh, less than you, you, your race plan was, uh, then you know how your body will react at the end. So just get out there and, and try to train your TT. Uh, and do threshold TTs, do your, your easy rides on the TT. Uh, you need to train really much on it. Uh, sometimes when I'm, when I'm comp uh, preparing for TT like Worlds uh, or Nationals, I'm doing eight out of 10 rides on my TT. I only race on my road bike and then I train everything on my TT bike because you need to find that extra two watts or whatever it is maybe it's only one water at the end it's it's really much because the competition is getting tougher and tougher and you need to yeah just get, get the marginal gain and if if the marginal gain is uh, that you need to do six hours on your tt bike yeah then you need to do six hours on your tt bike it's really old school to think that you only need to train tts when you have a big goal in front of you you need to train the TT uh, all year round. Also, if you are competitive uh, GC contender, I think it would be really important for you to to just have your TT with you at home all year round and maybe do one or two rides every week uh, all year round. But when I look at people, I, I see that they just want to ride in, in the mountains and and have fun uh, gravel rides, av adventures and stuff like that, ever resting, but maybe they should start to uh, take the TT a little, a little bit more seriously. Because you see, a lot of the, the Grand Tours are, are won by a good TT rider, like Christopher Froome. You saw Naira Quintana uh, losing the, the Tour with one minute uh, or something like that. But if you just gain a little bit on TT, he would have won. And I think that could have been possible because he has a phenomenal FTP. And uh, by his side, I think it would be possible to maybe not ride as fast as uh, Christopher Froome on the TTs, but you could get really, really close. Because I would always say that a guy like uh, Martin Schaaf has been Danish champion three years in a row. He's a small guy and it's old school to think that just because you're big and tall, then you must be good at TTs because it, it's not a game to be big. You need to be as small as possible. You need to fit, fit good into the air. Uh, so being a small rider, it's not that, it's not a worst case. Sometimes it is, uh, it's, it's the best option to have. So um, yeah. Train hard on the TG bike is 
So, as an accomplished uh, time trial rider, what are kind of your tips for anyone wanting to improve their time trialing? Um, yeah, for sure, this is the most important. Don't start too much fast because, okay, now if it's <laughs> if it's prologue or 5K long time trial, it doesn't matter. But if you have long time trial, more than, I don't know, 20, 20 minutes, you need to start a little bit with, you know, you will not you will not win race in first 500 meters so the pacing is really important so um, yeah just don't start too fast and um, before before the race i think it's good like me i i do like some visual visualization of the parkour so recon and then uh, then you think about the corners and everything and um, I think it here I include also pacing you know I all the time I'm thinking how to pace right um, but if you don't do the parkour one day before you cannot know how to go so recon is really important just to know how are the corners and um, yeah and um, what else I don't know. Be ready to pain, to be, to to have pain in the legs. And I think if you can be um, mentally strong, um, I think it's also really important this um, because on the time trial you are alone, and if you if you can push yourself more than hundred percent, I think it will help. <laughs> so mental in the time trial is really important. Yeah.